libraries and frameworks Hello tech recruiters, how are you? In today's episode, we are going to know more about frameworks and libraries. Actually, both are very, very similar, but the idea of today is to understand the similarities and both differences. So first, let's begin to understand what a library is. Do you have any books about making friends? Um, yeah, but they're all for little kids. Uh, I assume the skills can be extrapolated and transferred. Not that library. A library in computer science. In computer science, a library is a collection of non-volatile resources used by computer programs, often for software development. These may include configuration data, documentation, help data, message templates, pre-reading code, and subroutines classes, values, or type specifications. So basically, a library is a source where we have stored many useful resources to reuse again. Now, what is a framework? A framework or software framework is a platform for developing software applications. It provides a foundation of which software developers can build programs for a specific platform. So let's understand the word, framework. You have work inside a frame or inside a, a, a skeleton, right? So this framework actually has code that is reusable as a library and actually has a predefined skeleton. So you can just use it and then iterate from there. That's the idea. So now, library versus framework, how to understand both. So let's make a very nice analogy to this case. Let's think about Harry Potter. Uh, I remember that one of my, my books when I was a kid was the Philosopher's Stone. I really like it. I was very, very young. And it reminds me of this. Why? Because uh, if you think about Harry Potter, normally uh, he had some restrictions, right? In Hogwarts, uh, they had rules and they had to sleep in certain hours, they had, they had dinner time, they had quidditch, they had certain number of rules and behaviors inside the school. That is very similar to a framework. You have patterns, you have rules, you have specifications before just throwing your magic out there. Now, if we think about Harry on the open world fighting against, I don't know, a Dementor, for example, he can use his magic at free will. That will be more of a library. Why? Because basically a library is a, is a collection of, of reusable code that you can call whenever you like. So basically you can use your magic whenever you want, right? A framework, actually it's calling your code and then your code, it's maybe calling your library. So it has certain patterns to follow. Again, Howards would be the framework and Harry out there without Howards and, and, and out will be a library. If you want to make it easier, your university, your school will be your uh, framework and your house where, where you can do whatever you want will be your library, okay? I will give you one example, of course. You can dig more into this. But let's think about jQuery and uh, Django, right? So jQuery is your library. You can call it whenever you want. But actually Django has to follow certain patterns. For example, your templates folder should be named just temp templates folder. If not, you will not be able to reuse it, reuse it again. So you have to follow certain patterns. So that's the difference between a library and a framework. I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. And I hope this works, recruiters. Bye.